So today we're going to talk about how to get our jam berries off. And the reason we need to talk about how to get them off is because they stick long enough that you actually need to learn a proper removal tactic so you cannot damage your nails in the removal process. So the first way that you can take them off is if you're a picker, you probably already wanted to do this already. You can just kind of work the edge away and then just pick it off. But when you rip it off like that, you're probably going to take a little bit of your nail surface with it, which is going to cause your nails to be weak and brittle and nobody likes unhealthy nails. So there are some healthier ways to do that. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do is to actually take one of these little floss picks. Um, yes, you've probably <laughs> used it for your tooth before, but today we're going to use it for our fingernails. It's a multi-purpose tool. So you're going to take it, you're going to put your, fi your finger down. And you're going to just take the floss part and you're going to start wiggling it underneath the jamberry. And as it goes underneath the jamberry, we're just going to floss it right off of our fingernail. And it just easily and gently removes the jamberry with no um, damage to your nail. So that's one way. Another way is we have some coconut oil here. And I just heated up the coconut oil. And so it's nice and warm. And then you can just soak your nail in this for a period of time. And as you soak it, you're then going to once again just use your own fingernail or use um, something that has a, a point to it. And you're just going to slowly massage that oil gently. And it's warm. So the fact that it's warm is going to help uh, break that bond to your finger. And you're just going to slowly massage it off. And so you're going to be moistening your cuticles and the skin at the same time as you remove it. And plus you'll smell pretty. You'll smell like Hawaiian tropic coconuts, whatever, yeah. Okay, so as you can see this one takes a little bit longer. but. Left behind is a perfectly healthy, nice, moisturized nail. Okay, another way that you can do it is I have a little... <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> we probably shouldn't use this finger. Let's put them together. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so we'll do it like this. Okay, so, <laughs> so we have a nice rice bag here, and I've heated it up in the microwave, and I'm just going to wrap... Um, that finger um, with my rice bag and as the heat uh, warms it up it's gonna soften that bond a little bit and we're as it heats up we're gonna be able to uh, pull it off better and so remember that when you put on your jam berries that what makes them stick is heat and pressure and heat is often a good tool to get them off as well if you're a hot tubber or something like that, sometimes you have to be careful not to pick at your nails. You've got to let them cool back down so they can bond back down to your finger now. Okay, so this is nice and warm now. So I'm just going to go ahead and once again kind of break that seal on the edge. Warm it back up a little bit. And as I do that, it should just gently slide off. And once again, oops, once again, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have a healthy nail underneath. Another way that you can do it, which I don't like to do because I feel like it dries my cuticles out and you want to have nice healthy cuticles, is you can pour either fingernail polish remover or alcohol and you can soak your fingers in the alcohol and then that will kind of dissolve um, the bond as well. And same thing, gently wiggle them off, but I prefer not to do that method. Another method is you can get nice hot water. Uh, you can pour um, some lemon juice in it to give it a little bit of acid. Or you can actually get a fresh lemon and then soak your finger in there. And as the water heats it up and the lemon dissolves as uses it works as your acid, you're going to swoop. And like I said, the warmer the water, the better this works. You're going to gently take your nail off. I need to come up with a nail removal song so my videos aren't so boring. Okay. So 
So there we have another clean, healthy nail. And last but not least, oh, my cord's not quite long enough, so we have to do it special, is you can use your Jamberry heater to just heat your nail back up, just like you did when you put it on. I look so special <laughs> as I wait for my nail to heat up. Okay, so it's nice and heated now. And then once again, you can slowly pick at it, but since that this is my favorite way, and I feel like it's the easiest and fastest, I'm just going to break the seal again and slowly work it off. I probably didn't get it quite warm enough. Like I said, so just heat that bad boy up and avoid the temptation to rip it off because you can rip it off, but then you're going to be sad at how your nail looks underneath. And then your nail is probably going to break when it gets to those weak points. Ta-da! Okay. So, now you have seven great healthy tips to be able to remove your Jamberry nails. Don't forget to check out uh, lots of other tips on nail art tips or a thriftymom.com. And let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.